Hello, I'm Mike Allison, a senior director at Samsung. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the NVM command set and how this command set has changed with the new NVMe 2.0 specifications release. The NVM command set from an overview perspective goes back to the original release of the NVMe specification. It's always been there. It is an IO command set that enables basic reading and writing of logical blocks from an NVMe namespace. The NVM command set enables hosts that wish to do virtualization to set up different IO submission queue pairs, one for read, one for write, for each virtual machine providing isolation. The NVM command set is its own specification. The NVM 2.0 specifications release separated command sets from transport layers, such as PCI Express and TCP, from the base specification and released the command sets as independent specification. This makes the overall NVMe standard extensible, allowing it to move more easily evolve from new use cases and device ca categories in the future. The first example of command set extensibility was the creation of two new IO command sets the zone namespace command set and the key value command set. In addition to the NVM command set, only the admin command set is required and a device can choose optionally to support one or more IO command sets as well as how they are enabled by the device. For example, a controller can advertise its own support of three IO command sets, but only one at a time can be used. Or it could advertise it supports three IO command sets and allows only two to be used at a time. The host can then select which combination as advertised by that controller it wants to use. As one member of the IO command set category, the NVM command set is optional. However, the majority of NVMe devices use it and we expect this to continue in the case of the NVMe technology ecosystem. There are new features added to the NVM command set specification that help address certain use cases. One new feature is the extension of protection information. We've added the ability to create a larger protection information format to provide a 64-bit and a 32-bit CRC for logical blocks that are four kilobytes or larger in size. This creates better reliability during the transfer and storage of data for the host. The copy command is another feature added, which saves transfer time for the host. Typically, if a host wanted to copy data from one location to another within a namespace, the host would have to execute a read operation to transfer that data to host memory and then write it back to the namespace. This transfer from device to host back to the device is unnecessary overhead. With the new copy command, a controller will be able to accomplish the copy internally without transferring the data through the host. The MBM command set applies to logical block-based storage and is thus the most generally used command set. There are certain device categories and use cases which are more object-oriented and may use command sets such as the key value command set, in which case logical blocks may not be used external to the device. These are less common today. The zone namespace command set, for example, is a logical-based command set that is an extension of the NVM command set. The separation should make development easier in the sense that as new command sets like the key value command set and the zone namespace command set are added to the standard, it will enable developers to focus on the NVM command set to ignore things that are extraneous to that command set. The same argument applies to the fact that the transport specifications have been separated out into separate specifications. The goal of the refactoring done in NVMe 2.0 release was to modularize the standard enabling it to be extended and enabling developers to focus more easily on those parts of the standard which affect their use case or device. You can access the NVM command set on the NVM Express website, along with the zone namespace command set specification and the key value command set specification.